No, your eyes do not deceive you. This is going to be the final version of the Sawblade Battle Axe. Or at least this Sawblade Battle Axe. I can't promise I'm not going to make anything with Sawblades in the future. But as for the current iteration of the Sawblade Battle Axe as we know it, this is the final version. I think I have perfected the Sawblade Battle Axe where I can finally say that it is done and that I would personally take this weapon in the apocalypse, in any apocalypse. <sighs> Before we start, I want to tell you a little something. I... Do you remember that axe video a little while back that I made? So I engraved the handle, right? I did all this uh, stuff to it. And then a month went by, and then two months go by, and then four months go by. And I'm finding that I haven't used it once, and it is literally just collecting dust. And somehow, over its dust collecting, it got loose. So it's now loose and just collecting dust. So I figured, you know what? There's no reason to spend 30 bucks on a brand new axe handle when I have a really nice one just laying around. So I decided to take out all the stuff that held it together and I got myself a very customized, very nice looking axe handle for free. Alright, so my plan here is to really use what's only necessary to keep this as lightweight as possible. So, on previous models of the Sawblade Battle Axe, I have done completely circular and I've done this. But if you think about it, there's no real purpose to doing this. Because, like, let's take this for example, my, uh, the latest one, the V2. This does nothing. This whole side does nothing. Down here does nothing. And so... If anything, this is actually bad because like, oh, I could slip and hit my um, uh, fingers here. Or here, this, this just adds extra weight and for like no real purpose. And so that's why I did this model. This is my, um, this is my latest, latest. That's the latest one I filmed. This is the latest one that I've made myself. And so I'm just really scaling this up. What I got is that I have a spike on the back for like armor penetration. Goes in really well is really durable next we have this um this specific um saw blade so on previous saw blades here, let me show you so this is something i was testing uh throwing it so you see this oh, wait the focus you see that that's a chip that's a crack that's a dent right there you see how this one the actual saw blade itself isn't um uh sharpened it's these little bits here and you can see some of them are cracking right here so i have to be unfocused but uh, what happens with this is this is an older thing i found i just found this like in a dumpster it has this on it 1557 i don't know what any of this means but if you look at it if you look at the actual individual teeth these do not have the things the, the, the saw blade itself is what is what sharp is what is what sharp opposed to this which is these little things at the end right here so this compared to this so this will not really go that dull this will go dull they'll chip off and all of that these will not go dull or they probably will eventually but you can just sharpen them with a file and that's a lot easier to do than doing this and you have to replace all the saw blades overall it's better Got her all cleaned up, nice and smooth, and 
It's not jagged in any places that it's not need to be. We got a nice point on this, so we can just... Ooh, that's pretty nice. Ugh. Pretty deep now. Now, this thing. Yeah, so we got re we removed this. We're gonna put it in there. It's gonna go just like that. Look how cool that's gonna look. Oh, it's gonna look awesome. Look at that. We've got this thing all cut out. Once I got most of it done with the hand saw, like down to here, that's when I just did the rest of the jigsaw. And if you notice, this is a lot thicker than the uh, normal stuff that we use. So this is what I usually would work with, and this is what I am currently working with. This is a lot heavier, this is a lot more durable, and like I said, uh, nothing to break off onto, so it's very solid. I'm gonna drill the holes onto this. I'm gonna decide if I wanna stain slash paint this, because I really like how this looks. Um, like again, this was the axe handle video. I just, I'm just reusing it because uh, again, I'm never gonna use an axe being straight with you boys. So this is what I'm doing. So yeah, let's go drill those holes. Holes drilled. All ready to do epoxy, which is what I got right here. We're gonna epoxy this baby up. Alright, now it's time to put the axe in place. up so let's insert these all right got all riveted up now we just got to cut these and rivet them So we got the uh, bracers, reinforcements all cut out. Um, I know that a lot of people might be thinking, what, what, what is this, Jonah? Why, why is this so bendy? Why? And to answer your question, yes, my name is Jonah. And this is because, well, it's very lightweight. You see, this, I've been swinging around, it's starting to get heavy. It's starting to get a little heavy. It's not unwieldy at all, and I still very functional. If anything, a little heft will um, do it well when chopping and puncturing, but I really don't want this to get too heavy. Now, so we don't need something really thick to hold this on, because this is already hold on, held on fine. This is just reinforcements to the reinforcements. Just because I'm going to be using this probably every single day in an apocalypse. I'm not saying for fighting every single day in an apocalypse, but like I'd probably be carrying this, dropping it, um, hitting against trees, brush, every single day in the apocalypse. And so I would want to make this as secure as possible now, so I don't have to do that later. So I'm gonna be adding these reinforcements, just like, I'm gonna add one here, and then I'm gonna have a bend around. This one goes to that down back here. It's gonna look sick, and it's going to make this really reinforced. So let's uh, do that.
right, we got the reinforcements all in. So this is very, very, very extra secure. And it's still light. It's still very, very light. Like there is one handed still, oh, still very, very light. It's a lot lighter than uh, this thing. I love this. This is such a smooth handle, but nah, it's just so much heavier. Let's 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 uh, let's go paint. We gotta paint this. Paint this. Paint. 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 I'm gonna do it green first. Then I'm gonna do red on top of it. Taped up. So, this, this beautiful, amazing thing, um, it's everything I hoped and dreamed. It is the final version of the Sawblade Battle Axe. It's done. I'm so proud. Um, if anything, I kind of feel like a father, you know? Like, sure... I created all the other Sawblade Battle Axes, and I killed a few of them, or just saw swords and stuff in general, but this one succeeded. This son, oh mine, he succeeded. He did better than I thought he would, and he's, it's done. I did my work, and I did it good. And that just... That feels nice, and that feels right, and I'm truly happy. And so this, I can confirm, is what I would take in most apocalypses. Thank you for watching. I'm, s I'm so happy that this came out how I wanted it to. And this is now my weapon. This is it. 
I mean, of course, my holy sword's still my weapon, but as of practically, this is the most practical, most durable, most reliable thing I've made. You've got a spike on the back for armor piercing. You got a um, saw on the front for ripping, tearing, and anything fr- flesh related. And then you got a really nice looking handle. And of course, it looks beautiful. Like, what? It looks really already apocalyptic and rusted, and or not rusted, rustic. And so I'm truly happy about this. I'm sorry I'm not really being extravagant and moving around. There's a lot of dog poop in this area that I'm actually, I can see like, I think eight piles right in front of me. So, yeah. Well, thank you very much for watching. Um, let me know what I should make next now that this series is finally over. And also, please let me know in the comment section what poll I should make next. Because I just finished the zombie apocalypse poll. The Halpert one, so I'm going to be making that soon. I'm going to be making a Halpert soon. Um, that's very exciting. I'm very excited for that. So, yeah, let me know if there's anything else you would like me to do. And we'll see if we can get it done, eh? I got some awesome stuff on the way, and I'm excited for you to see it, bro. Thank you for watching. And, uh, yeah. Again, like always... <laughs>